Hello, in this C programming video, I am going to show you nested switch statements. So, highly recommend that you watch this switch statement video because we'll be continuing on from there. Also, recommend that you watch the if statement and more importantly, the nested if statements video because the nested switch statement has a lot of similarities to nested if statements. And to be frank, a switch statement is like an if statement but with release functionality for one purpose, just to check if let's say this variable is, you know, this value or this value or this value. Can't do any more complex condition than that, that is there. Okay, so a nested switch statement is as simple as it sounds. So it's a switch statement within a switch statement. You would put it within one of the cases or you could have multiple. You could have a switch statement there, you could have another one here. You could have one there, you can have another switch within that switch. One thing I would say is as far as I'm aware, you can have as many as you want, but just to make code readable and more maintainable, don't have too many. Probably a couple of you know layers, a switch within a switch, maybe a third one. Otherwise, you might still want to start looking to if statements or breaking it up and having, let's say, functions that do a little checking. You just call a function instead and pass the value in. That might be a better route to go down, but I'm still going to show you switch statements you know, for basic stuff. So we're checking age. Imagine if you are zero, we're going to check something else as well. Maybe we'll check weight. So weight, and say it equals, I don't know, five, semicolon. And let's say here, and I'll put these breaks back in because I did remove them or commented them out just to sh make a point last video. So if we put a switch here, you just put a switch. And you switch on here, which is weight. And then put a case. So if the case is going to be, let's say, one. And we'll say, printf. You have a weight of one, let's say, kg, so one kilo. And I'm going to do a break. Again, you could do the same sort of stuff where you're missing out breaks to have a cascade effect. That's fine as well. All the same rules apply for nested cases. I'll do all the way to five. And again, you could do default as well. So I could do default. And I'll just put printf. And I'm going to say unknown weight. And I'm going to put a break. And then I'm going to say. One, two, three, four, five, and I'll just modify these. Two kilo, three kilo, four kilo, five kilo, and I'll put an extra message if you are five kilos. Printf menu is heavy. Okay, give it a run print out you are zero because what it did was it checked age you went to case zero printed that off then it checked weight and weight was five so didn't go into case one two three or four went into five didn't go into default because something is valid and you have a weight of five kilos menu is heavy that's it for nested switch statements just a switch within a switch if you have any questions, feel free to post on the Discord group. There's a link in the description. You can post in one of the many programming channels, depending on what question you have. Hopefully you're enjoying the new tips and tricks shorts I'm doing on a daily basis. Been doing some NFT ones and crypto ones. I'm going to be getting back to doing some VS Code ones very soon. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon.